Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrator. Today we will be seeing a very important and very interesting topic from IS 456 and how we can implement it in uh, eTabs and uh, in safe software as well. So the topic on which I am going to uh, uh, explain that is pattern live load. So let us open IS 456 2000 uh, code. So here uh, in IS 456 2000, if you open the clause number 22.4.1, which is in page number 35 of the latest uh, edition. So here you will see uh, this option called, or you can say this clause called arrangement of imposed loads. Okay. So in this arrangement of imposed loads, what you can see, we have that consideration may be limited to combinations of. That means when we are considering the imposed load or whatever, uh, if you can also call it as live load. So when we are considering the effect of a live load, we need to create some combinations which is limited to these two conditions. One is design dead load on all spans with full design imposed load on two adjacent spans. Okay, is it clear? Suppose we have this something like this three spans so the dead load will be on all the spans okay but the live load will be on two adjacent spans suppose here like this or maybe in the other other two okay and what is the second case the second case is saying that the design dead load on all spans with full design imposed load on alternate spans. So again, if I draw three spans, so the dead load, suppose I'm drawing the dead load with blue, so dead load will be on all spans, but live load will be on alternate spans, suppose here and in the other. Why they are giving like this? Because the live load, when you are giving the live load, you may not have, you may not, suppose you have a uh, place like this. So you may not be having people, suppose these are the three office compartment, uh, office uh, rooms, okay. So you may not be having people here. And maybe you are having people in these two. You may be having people in these two, but here is no people uh, staying or you can say uh, gathering around, right. So the live load, you cannot. Uh, say that in throughout the uh, you can say uh, uh, panel you will be having the uh, full live load okay now this is this must be considered when the intensity of live load is very high okay in, in structures where the intensity of live load is very high in that case only we should consider this kind of uh, pattern or this kind of combination now for that also the is could have given one provision which is the point b that when the design imposed load does not exceed three fourth of the design dead load. Suppose my design dead load is A. If the design imposed load, that means live load, is equal to, it should be at least three by fourth of A. Okay. It does not exceed three by, it should be greater than actually. If it is greater than three by fourth of A, means the dead load then only we should consider this combination. So it is saying when the design imposed load does not exceed three fourth of design dead load, the load arrangement may be design dead load and design imposed load on all spans. So when it is not crossing this, then in that case, dead load and live load must be considered or should be considered throughout the uh, span. Okay, that means when the intensity of live load is less than in this kind of combinations or this kind of pattern, you do not have to create. Okay, so uh, that the so you can easily understand that it is depending on the intensity or how critical the live load will be in your uh, uh, you can say structure. Depending on that, you should consider this pattern. Okay, so uh, I hope uh, this this uh, clause is clear to all of you. Now I will I will go to uh, my software which is uh, eTabs. Here I have created these uh, conditions. So if I just show you, uh, show loads so i will show you the frame loads i have just created three portal frames and if you see the dead loads so i have assigned dead load on all the spans 12 kilonewton dead load 12 kilonewton per meter dead load on all the spans okay and if i go to live load now here we are having the two conditions this is these two are my first criteria under my first criteria 
this is my second criteria alternate spans and if you see the value of live load i have considered so if it is 12 kilo newton and 3 by 4 it should it will be 9 right it will be 9 kilo kilonewton per meter so i have considered 10 kilo per meter so, so that the live load is greater than three fourth of my dead load okay so now here i have created these three patterns when we have adjacent spans two adjacent spans with live loading here also two adjacent spans with live loading and the other span without any live load and here two alternate spans uh, with live load and the mid span having no live load okay now let us check what is the effect of this pattern in in uh, you can say uh, in the frame okay so i will just close this and then run the an analysis so the analysis is done now i will go for uh, you can say forces so i will click on this display frame pair forces i will not check for the dead load okay because the dead load i have already otherwise let me just create one combination of dead load and live load so load combinations add new and i will create maybe an uh see? i'll create one uh you can say uh service combinations combo one with dead load and live load okay okay i will go to this display frame pier spandrel and i'll go to combo one and i will check the moment T3, which is my major axis moment. Apply. Is it not showing any major axis moment? Let's check. Yeah, it is showing the television view again. Yeah. So now you can see the difference. In in the first case, these two spans and this span is having higher sagging moment. These two ends are having 35 and uh, you can say 57 here, right? here it is 37 again but in this case it is changing now in the other side here we are having 29 and similar pattern but in this case it is different these two spans are having 31 and you can say the hogging moments also 33 and 51 okay if i if i see individually for the live load you can see the individual moments also now how to decide the critical case for every element when you are going for the design combination this is not my design combination we need to factor it actually so when you are going for design combination you need to check for which element which uh, uh, force is or you can say which combination is critical okay so in that case you need to find out the critical combination and to design but the thing is it is very uh, for for this kind of portal you may find which one is critical which value is critical the hogging and in, in in terms of hogging and sagging and you can design it like this is these are only three bay and three portals so you can easily find out but when you have a multi story building in that case it is very hard to find out the critical case in the in terms of the pattern uh, loading right so in that case uh, e tabs has this this particular thing or you can say the creation of pattern loading by default in its design uh, settings so if i go to design concrete frame design and view revised preferences here if i go down you will see that the pattern live load factor is 0 0.075 that means whatever live load uh, uh, suppose i am given i have given 1.2 so it will be multiplied with 0 0.75 so the factor will be something around 1.125 right so this factor will be multiplied with the pattern live load and obviously as this value is more than greater than zero what will happen this pattern will be considered now if you if you make it one then whatever uh, uh, you can say uh, partial safety factor you are giving that the, the same partial safety factor will be multiplied with the pattern loading also okay so uh, if, if this values is greater than zero then that means you are considering this effect of pattern live loading so you can see the pattern live load factor that's why this this particular thing is given if you do not want to consider the pattern live loading you can make it zero so it will not consider this particular effect okay so this is how etabs is doing it now let me show you how you can do do it in uh, uh, in safe so i will open safe here you can see i have created one one uh, 3d portal um, you can say multi bay 3d portal so here i will go to define and load patterns you can see here uh, live load and dead load are uh, already defined and if you see the values display show loads you can also see the values also 
like 1.5 kilometer per meter square uh, dead load is assigned on the on the slabs and uh, display show loads if i go to live load 2 kilometer per meter square live load is assigned on the slabs now how to get that pattern loading here so for that i will go to uh, i will just click on this i will go to define and i will go to load patterns here i'll click on add new load pattern you can see add load pattern here let us uh, name it as pattern live i will change the type as uh, here you can see auto pattern live okay i'll click on okay now if i go to define and load cases here you can see a pattern live load case it is created uh, let me just delete the previous one i think this is the previous one yeah so a pattern live load case is uh, defined here and what is the type of this loading this the type of this loading is linear multi step static so in under one particular load case multiple steps will be created okay so let me see how how these steps are creating uh, so i will just uh, run the analysis let me check the design preferences it is is456 fine and I will click on run analysis and design. Okay. I will go to display without analysis that the pattern will not be visible. Okay. So I will go to show loads. Now it will show you the pattern live load. We need to check this analysis model loads and show loading values. Click on okay. And now here you can see the values. Okay. So in, in this particular panel, it is considering now with this arrow, you can see the panel one of nine that means it has uh, created we have nine panels so it has created the first loading or first pattern for the panel one if i click on the second one you can see the panel two so it has created multiple steps under one single load case okay now if i click on define and load combination and you can see i think the load combination is already created the dead load and the pattern live load with 1.125 why 1.125 because the factor uh, pattern live load factor it is considered as 0 0.05 so with 1.5 i think previously i have done mistake in etabs it should be 1.1.2 uh, 1 multiplied by 0 0.75 it should be different value right so it will be something around 1.2 multiplied by 0 0.75 it will be something around 0 0.9 and it is 1.5 multiplied by 0 0.075 0 0.75 so it is 1.125 so here you can see the, the like the live load it is again considered the pattern live load also okay so you can design with this pattern live load another option is available i will just close it okay another option is available here so what you can do i will uh, suppose uh, i will go to the xy plane and i will delete this maybe i i don't need okay they have defined a single plate no problem i'll just delete this okay and i will create panel now previously the panels were divide, divided in between these grids right now i am do, i do not want uh, the panels to be divided in these grids okay so what i will do i will uh, draw some random panel like this maybe here another one here okay so here you can see this is one particular panel and this is another another panel okay now what i will do i will uh, go to define and pattern uh, load patterns i will delete the pattern live here and i will create two live load cases so i will click on add load pattern two load patterns here okay let us let us keep this naming as same but here i will change the load type as pattern live only okay so both the load cases i will be assigning as pattern live i'll click on okay now i'll select this particular panel I'll go to assign load data and surface loads. I will select this L uh, the pattern one, and maybe I'll be assigning a load of yeah maybe uh, three kilometer per meter square. Okay, I'll click on okay. I'll select this. I'll go to assign and a load data surface loads, and I will select this pattern two. The same value I'll be assigning. Fine. Now I will go to define and load combinations. I'll delete the previous load combinations. Okay. And I will run this analysis now. 
now if i go to define and load combination you can see one load combination is created which is called pattern combo if i modify this you will see that this combination is created with the two pattern loadings that we have assigned into in the two panels okay and if i see the design combination this design combination 3 in the design combination that combination the pattern combo is considered as a linear load uh, linear add load case okay and if you if you just see here it is assigned it is created given the combination type as range add so whenever you want to create a combination with two pattern loads then in that case you need to provide this range add combination type then only that combination will be considered as a pattern live load combination okay so the manual one is a bit uh, confusing but it is useful when you do not have your panels divided in every grid okay so if you want to uh, assign the loads on your user created panels in that case you need to use this manual option otherwise you can go for uh, the auto live auto live load pattern option so it will the software will automatically create the live load pattern okay so i hope this pattern loading option is pretty clear to all of you and if you have any doubt regarding this you can put it uh, in the comment box so that i can uh, reply you regarding the uh, solution okay so that's it for this session and we will see you in the next session thank you